let's start with the overall analysis of what is the basic difference between that is between the miui 13 and miui 12.5 which we are using currently on our redmi note 8 pro so you can see that this is the miui 13.5 which we have flashed in the last video if you haven't seen yet so go check it out the link is in description as well as i will give it an i button okay so let's start so i will solve all your queries but uh, just uh, let's let me go through uh, one by one okay so the very first changes which you will see over here is that the tiles okay the data tiles is already provided in the in this version whereas it is not provided although it is not working but yes it is provided it means that in future there is high chances that it will work with the latest update all right so here is the first changes which you will see is that control center now second changes which you will see will be in, in the performance mode now those who don't know about the performance mode so you can see here let me add simply add it and here if you will turn this on so you can see the battery color has been changed okay if i turn this off over from here so you can see the battery color has been restored to normal gray color but again if you turn it on so the battery if i suppose turn it on over here so the battery color will be changed to blue color it means that performance mode has been activated and you know that in the performance mode the all the cores are set to the highest preferred level so that the overall performance of the gameplay or any of the uh, task can be improved okay now the third change is that if you uh, will notice that this is a more smooth ui as compared to the miui 12.5 okay now guys in the camera it might not be visible but to be very honest i feel this is much more smooth than the stock miui 12.5 even you can see the notification bar is quite smooth okay as compared compared to the miui stock 12.5 here if you'll see in the launcher menu here you can see this is a google search bar although this is not yet working but still if you see the changes by the look wise so this looks a bit different you can see the google search bar over here and in the uh, stock miui you don't get this thing right so uh, this is one thing now the second thing is you will get much more option in the security if you see over here so just let it load you can see that there are tons and tons of options over here so you can all use all these options which is basically i can say that this is the latest version of the security app and uh, if you update it so you will get it uh, the next thing to observe is the gallery options so if you go to the gallery and if you have uh, taken any photo and all so if you click over here so you will get a lot of options to edit and all let me show you let me download this thing okay so here if you see so here you get a lots and lots of things to download and here you can download at once itself so here you get a various options a lot more filter and all so yeah i mean if you are a video photo editor guy so you should definitely prefer this rom because here you get more options as compared to the stock miui then then next thing will be in the in the screenshot okay suppose i take a screenshot suppose i am taking this screenshot so i have taken it now if i click on this so you can see this is here a uh, one option is there add a device frame so let's click on this let's click on download and let's see how it looks so you can see the normal screenshot looks like this but when the device frame will be added so let's see how it looks okay so you can see that the device frame has been added and you can see our device frame has been successfully embedded in this screenshot so if i suppose let's say suppose if i save this thing so you can see in the gallery segment over here that i get a complete device frame type screenshot you can see this thing right so this is one feature which uh, this offer uh, again in terms of gallery settings and all even you can take a normal screenshot as well suppose if you have taken this you can simply save this thing and you will see it in your gallery okay so this is the normal screenshot and again if you see this thing so this is the device frame screenshot okay so this was uh, the uh, next thing now let's talk about the power menu so if you see over here so you can see that there uh, in the stock you stock miui you only get four options that is airplane silent reboot and shutdown that's it but here you can see that you can simply there are two more options first is recovery and second is the fast boot option now uh, you can make use of these two if you are uh, if you want to change the kernel if you want to root your device if you want to do any changes in your device so you can simply use this these uh, let's move to the next one so if you see over here so 
the home screen layout if you see this, uh, this one so the home screen layout has been changed right now uh, this you don't get in miui here there are only three options and that is all about the thing but here you get three various different options right so this is again one more new feature which we can see in the miui 13 or in this the uh, you know this recovery rom i mean the miui ported rom okay next move to the settings and here are majority of the change many changes are there okay let's see one by one so here you can see the wallpaper and personal personalization so when you will click on this so here you can see there are lots and lots of changes which you definitely don't get in miui 12.5 here you can simply enable the always on display over from over from here and you can select any of them for example now let me select this time option and let me click on apply now if i'll turn this uh, phone off so you can see that this is this uh, the always on display it, it works although i definitely don't recommend using this thing because it consumes a lot of charge okay so yeah i mean this is definitely one thing which you should look after if you are uh, someone who keep on checking their time and time so i mean you should definitely I mean you should definitely go for this right so now let's move to the suppose i'm turn i i'll turn this off now here you will get a lot and lots and lots of customizations on the wallpaper here even in the library you can see for example i select this geometry one although i haven't downloaded it so it, it will first of all download it but anyways here you if you see so there are various options of the wallpaper so you can change the wallpaper accordingly according to your choice so yeah i mean this is one thing now here also you get a lot and lots of new options over here you can see the wallpaper options these are the live wallpaper you can see this okay so this is again one of the best customizations which you can do in your phone you can see this how beautiful it looks now uh, yeah i mean again here you can see this uh, this also this is again one more live wallpaper options now this is also one more live wallpaper option so yeah there are various options uh, available uh, you can just check it out and even not only that you can also download it from the theme store itself okay now uh, this is this was there are various options which you can set and uh, various things which are available so it's just up to you so that how you will use it all right so let me set this as both okay now again coming back to the wallpaper personalization coming back to the settings here you can see in the lock screen setting here uh, the thing is the same now coming to the notification and control center here uh, in the status bar you can see the connection speed percentage here also pretty much same moving to the down here you can see in the home screen so here uh, yeah i mean here i have to say one thing that uh, here you can see that there is an app vault okay and uh, in the many of the miui stock room you don't get that this app vault options right one more thing to notice that is that guys you are getting a stock miui dialer over here which you don't get it in the uh in the our miui stock room okay so yeah i mean this is one of the thing now again let me show some more stuff from the settings here uh again if you see so here if you see special features so here are various options again here you will get a latest game turbo options uh, which you definitely don't get in the miui 12.5 this is miui uh this is game turbo 4.0 and uh, the th the one which is in our device is miui game turbo 2.0 i guess so okay so this needs to be connected to the network let's connect it to network and let's see all right so let's click on the game turbo over here and let's see how it looks no uh, now i have given some of the looks in the flashing video itself but uh, if you want more about this so just go for this one now again let me add something and let me show you what are the options which we are getting for example i'll add the cpu throttling part okay now let's uh, move to the over here and you can here you can see that I, if i select this so you can see that i i can even change this thing right i can see this is the normal look now if i change it to moderate so you can see the color changes color variation over here again in the strong if you can see so if you see over here in the extreme you will see this okay now let's go to the throttling cpu throttling uh, app and let's test out what are the options which we are getting so I click on OK and here if you see so here is the options part and uh, OK let's check about the game turbo. So here you can see that there are various options which are available here you can change the voice as well for example you can change it to robotic voice 
you can change it to uh, a man voice i mean there are various options which you can uh, play from over here now again here is one more voice changer so yeah i mean you can use this thing again here is the timer like how much time did you play it and all now here if you change this so you can see the screen variation okay now this is this affects your screen okay if you see so there uh, i hope it is visible on the camera okay now here one more thing to notice is that guys it supports 1080 or 480 mm, sorry 4k screen recording you can see 230 into 1080 2340 into 1080 so yeah i mean it supports uh, 4k recording which is quite mm, better as compared to the stock miui here also you can record the screen at 90 fps and not only this but also it supports the 90 fps screen recording so this uh, this was about some of the reviews now let's see what are the other options which we get so here in the special features uh, itself you get a second space video toolbox and all light mode and all which we get in stock miui as well now here if you come to the battery part okay let me show you so here if you come to the battery part so here you can see that there are three options which we are getting first is safe battery second is balance and third is performance which we don't get in the stock miui so this is again which miui needs to think about and if they implement this thing then it is also better better because in the performance mode if you are playing any game so it will mm, give you a better option as compared to the balance one because uh, in the miui stock one it is by default set to balance and you cannot change it but here you can change this even if you see so i have used the phone for one hour 45 minute and uh, let me show you so i charged just one time today and the temperature is 34 i mean uh, the temperature does not rise quite too much okay so yeah i mean this this was about the battery department now let's come to the themes over here so theme is obviously by default which you get but here uh, you can see that the theme app is also changed here you get a different option uh, in the stock miui if, if you click on themes so it will take you to the theme store but here you can see that there are various options available here you can directly select it from over here itself okay you don't need to go to the theme store app and all all right now coming to the Okay guys, so now coming to the throttling test performance. So I have done the throttle test on this one, on this device and let me show you, I've taken the screenshot over here. So you can see that this is the result of my throttle test. Now here you can see that the maximum score is 184,000 and minimum score is 150,000. But if you see the average score, so it is 175,000 and it throttled to 92% of its maximum performance. It means that only 8% throttling was detected and 92%. So here I, I must say that yes, I mean this ROM has quite pretty much impressed me because uh, it is obviously better than the stock miui which is uh, which you are using on your android but if you are looking for a more feature more specific uh, feature specific more uh, more advanced features and all so i mean you should definitely go for this rom but again one more thing i which i will say the downside of the uh, downside of this rom is that the first thing is that you definitely don't get that all that play store options like google maps and uh, uh, google pay and all over here you can download it but again one more thing to say you that this rom does not pass the safety net test it means that google pay amazon pay the access bank uh, app and all that won't work in this device so yeah it's it definitely supports phone pay and paytm but it does not support the google pay phone pay google pay amazon pay and all so yeah i mean if you are looking for doing banking in your device so you should definitely not flash this rom because it does not uh, pass the safety net although you can root the device and make sure that the safety net is passed but again if you are rooting it so uh, obviously you are definitely ind ind indirectly taking the risk so do banking you have to do transaction on your phone then you should this rom because i would definitely not suggest in that case now if you want to remove the magic so what you have to do is you have to select this you have to click ok okay let it download let's go to the setting let's enable it let it in completely install and then we will uninstall click on ok click on install okay so here when you will come to this screen after the installation just click on cancel and here you can see the option in uninstall magic first thing which you have to do is you have to restore the image and then second thing is completely uninstall okay so it has been installed and my device will again reboot and then our 
magisk has been completely uninstalled okay so that's how you uninstall the magisk so guys if you like the video then make sure that you hit that like button and also guys subscribe to my channel so guys if you have any doubts you can just join my telegram channel and guys i have seen one uh, last thing to say that i have seen a comment of one guy that mm, my voltage is not working okay his his calling is not getting done let me see his comment so guys this is the comment that is me me ui use curly is my calling problem are here guys let me tell you that i have no such calling problem let me show you guys that i have i am not facing any of the calling problem because if you see here it is already written hd now if hd is not written then i can say that it's uh, you will face the calling problem let me show you suppose i'm calling okay now this is for balance checking app so it will write not connect but it is already connected if you want to see connected let me show you see this welcome to geo your recharge plan has expired all right so it is working you will not be able to use internet make calls All right, so it is working now again. If he has written that BGMI performance graphic, bro, BGMI performance is definitely not degraded in this. It even supports 90 FPS. I have done the CPU throttling test. Now here he have written CPU throttling. My meme gaming mod lagaya tha. Not at all needed, bro. See, I have done the CPU throttling test. I have already given you the result over here that I am quite impressed by the because see my device is performing well. Now if you are talking about the older version of this mod ROM, modded ROM, and you are giving review based on that ROM, so don't be hyper. critical first of all test it yourself and then give your review okay because i have tested it in two days like if you see so i have um, make made the uh, flashing video two days ago and then from that two from past two days i am testing this rom and then only i have bring brought this review so yeah i mean the calling issue it is not there the bgi performance degradation it's not at all there the cpu throttling it's performing quite well now again i just told that the downside is that if you are a banking person like if you have to do transaction and all so in that case you definitely need to think rethink about using this rom because the banking in from for the purpose of the banking from safety purpose perspective this is not at all safe i mean it is not much safe okay so yeah i mean that's that is the thing only i can say but in the rest of the thing like in the camera okay here okay i i have forgotten to show the camera here you can see that there are lots and lots of camera options which are available first is the photo portrait then night mode then here you can see the vlog mode okay here you can see the document mode in the document mode one advantage which you get is that your device uh, tag it comes on the overall document okay so this document mode then here you can see the short video then there is one more option that is clone option so yeah i mean there are pretty much options available in the camera so here obviously if you are a camera guy so you should definitely go for this rom so the only downside is that the banking apps uh, might not work unless you pass the safety net using magisk uh, rest all this performance is overall definitely dominating as compared to the miui 12.5 stock rom so i definitely i will definitely suggest you to go for this rom like if you are uh, using banking apps then you should rethink because uh, it supports phone pay so if you are a phone pay guy then or a paytm guy then you should uh, go for it but if you are using a google pay or amazon pay then definitely it's not recommended so this was all in this video and uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button guys and make sure you like the video uh, if you like my review now this was all the review was my pers own perspective so you might have your own perspective but whatever i have given the review it was completely tested and result was uh, all proved in this video so yeah i mean if you like the video so make sure that you hit that like button and also guys subscribe to my channel if you are new take care